so people won't see my lips. <laughs> hey, it's Teresa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen for a short and sweet um, turkey leftovers sandwich. Because you know you have all the leftovers, right? You got your leftover turkey. You got your leftover cranberry. You got your leftover stuffing. You got your leftover vegetable of some kind, all right? Or, and you have leftover gravy. And you can make a mean sandwich. Of course, there are other things you can make, which I will show a little of later on. Um, so, I had, because I had so little turkey, I've got mainly turkey wings left. I've got a little bit of breast meat left. Enough for maybe a sandwich or two. Um, unless I want to cut all that meat off the bones, which I do not want to do. So, we had, I'm going to take that leftover turkey, just the flat breast, add some cranberry, some stuffing, and put on some good sturdy bread. Okay? Um, if I had the gravy, if I had the um, vegetable, usually I have creamed onions, um, I would put that on there too, but I don't. So, here we go with my after Thanksgiving turkey sandwich. So, I've got a little bit of turkey meat here, right? A little bit. I put it in a microwave safe container. I heated it up a little bit. Toasted a couple of slices of sturdy white bread from a bakery. Not the soft stuff from the supermarket, okay? Something sturdy. All right. Okay. Now. I like to put, I like to put the great, the uh, cranberry, I did have a spoon over there. All right. Um, I like to put, I, I pureed down some of the cranberry, okay, it was too chunky before Thanksgiving, because after I made the video I realized it was a little, a little too chunky. Some people like chunky, I don't. Okay, so there's one layer. Then I'm, I measured out, I measured out a third of a cup of, now see, normally I would put the gravy on this side, or I'd put the gravy on top of the meat, but I don't have gravy. So, here's a layer of your Stuffing, and that, of course, is my mother's mashed potato stuffing. Okay, so because it's got mashed potatoes in it, it flattens out really, really nicely. Okay, okay, you can put as little or as much as you want of the stuffing. I'm a big stuffing fanatic, so all right, and then you take your turkey meat sliced thinly. If you can, if you still have something, all right, I unfortunately only have thick left. So, put that on. Okay. Yeah. Put it as much as you can, okay. All right. And if you have... If you have your creamed onions or um, any kind of a vegetable, a little bit of vegetable, you know, green bean casserole or something, you can chop that up a little bit and put it on top of the stuffing, okay? And then put the meat on top, all right? Meat is always on top of everything else. And, but if you are, if you do have some gravy, put some on top of the stuffing, okay? And then, of course, I like to cut things. I like to cut things on the bias. All right. And then you get that beautiful shot of the inside of the sandwich. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. That's one idea for um, Thanksgiving leftovers. A couple of others. 
that I've done in the past. Obviously, there's the famous Turkey Tetrazzini. Yes, you can do that. In fact, I'll probably be doing that with a couple of the leftover pieces. Um, but you can also do like, instead of uh, like, um, I think it's Applebee's or something, has a uh, Cajun fettuccine with chicken in it. You can do a version of that, but with leftover turkey in it. And I make this wonderful skillet dish. It's sort of like a hash that I did last year. That's all in one cast iron skillet. I got it from the Chew two or three years ago, and I've been making it ever since. Although this year I didn't do it because I don't have creamed onions and I don't have gravy. And uh, I'm leftover vegetable and gravy are two of the ingredients, and I don't feel like making more just to make one dish since it's supposed to be done with leftovers. But I will link the recipe. I'll also link the recipe for a couple of other things that I found on the internet lately. Something at Rachel Ray and um, I forget where else. Uh, I think Rachel Ray's magazine. I think I, I just put something in my Pinterest from there. You can always check my Pinterest page for all my latest pins. Um, every day I try to pin a few things to Pinterest. Um, there are a lot of ideas under the board that says using leftovers, or it's called turkey leftovers, something like that. Um, if you haven't already um, followed me on Pinterest, you should. I'm always adding more pins, and uh, lately I've been putting a lot of them into the using leftovers board, okay? Um, so I hope you uh, found this helpful. Hopefully you've come, maybe you've come up with a few ideas of what you do over every year with your leftovers. Let me know in the uh, comments below. And of course, subscribe and press the little bell and come back again to Reese's Cluttered Kitchen for more kitchen ideas. Bye. That's what she was laying on, right? What?